tough one. Listen, tough one. Uh, offensively, weird one. Um, ugly, ugly. Uh, you know why it turns this ugly, Jimmy? Second quarter there. Third quarter. Yeah. Second yeah. was bad too. You know Third why it turns? You know why it turns this quickly? It's Tell the me. shades shades of what you've seen before. You know, like yeah, it's it, the PTSD factor. It is because what happened last game? Last game was like okay, Minnesota's good, and Celtics didn't have it. You can excuse an off night. It was a good team they played, athletic, long, good defensively. Uh, they have a superstar player. Lots of reasons why that team can absolutely be competitive with you. Uh, you know, you're down a starter. Not a bad loss at all. Um, but uh, but the vibe was, wow, that felt like the 2022 Celtics. Like just for a flash. You know, I, I'm not going to harp on it. We're not going to beat it, beat it in the ground. It's one game, but boy. Did that feel like the 2022 Celtics? Tonight also felt like bad versions of the 2022 Celtics uh, in stretches. And you just, when you see that, that's when you start to get a little bit, uh oh, what's going on here? And, you know, yeah. and then you see your best players kind of shrink, uh, you know, and disappear and look lost and turn the ball over. You know, you see Sherrod Blakely show up, you know, here to drop some wisdom of his own. Um, and so you start to get what worried, Sherrod. What's up, guys? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, Sherrod, both clear. you and I missed the last game, okay? True. Um, so and now we we're back. We Weird. don't know where nobody, we don't know where we were on nobody this. Nobody mentioned you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the panic meter comes out. Actually, actually, let's get the five person. Pan oh, where's Sherrod on this one, right? Yeah, we're gonna get Sherrod in the middle. Sherrod, somewhere in the middle. I yeah, think, of us. I am, but um, Sherrod, okay. you know, I'm not saying like burn it all down sort of panic but like how much are you like okay there's some panic's the wrong word but i know what you're saying go on sherrod like legitimate it, concern with some of the things you've seen the last couple of games I, i'm it didn't bother me as a one-off and i'm not ready to freak out but i think we need to hit the pause button a little bit on the greatest celtics team of all time i think we need to hit the pause button on that there's some things that aren't aren't really feeling right right now uh, this was a, it seems that there's, there's too much of an ebb and flow with their greatness and their crappiness. Uh, they're either really, really good and, they're, or they're having those flashbacks to last year when we just kind of cringe when we saw them down the stretch. Um, you know, that play at the very end there, uh, I don't know what they were looking for, but it, it was, it, it was almost botched. Yeah. Um, and because I think they were looking for Tatum, but it was over Tatum's head, so it just happened to wind up for Zingas. Hands that, was and that was a great shot attempt, though. We I mean, that <laughs> he's talking about the Celtics, he is not a Celtics fan. I think, no, I was gonna say, no, but they listen, th this was a game where they, they, I thought they were playing catch up all the way, and that great, really, that the last two, three minutes was probably some of the best basketball they played all game where they wiped out that 13, 14 point deficit and were, had a chance to tie it there at the end. Um, I'm not like ready to, to burn the house down, but I, I definitely want to make sure that the smoke detectors are working right now because something feels like they, they, they need to get back home and get on a nice little running rhythm to get, to make, I think, calm everyone down. Cause I don't like what I saw. The, the Minnesota game to me was just kind of a one-off. That was the best defensive team in the NBA. They were at home. And the Celtics were due to have a, an off night. But the Philly game, it felt like this was one that they – I felt they should have won this one. I don't feel they should have won this one. They didn't play well enough to win it. But I think coming into it, I felt that this was the type of game that if you're going to say that you're like the best team in the NBA, you come into Philly and win this game because that's a good Philly team now. We have an alert from Bobby Manning, um, who's out in Philly, um, sending us a tweet from, uh, from our friend uh, Gary Washburn. And that tweet said um, – uh, probably one of the more bizarre Missoula post game sessions since he's been head coach, and that's saying something. And apparently, <laughs> Joe, apparently Joe it is something. Apparently, the kumbaya moments that Joe and uh, Gary have been uh, enjoying uh, so far this season, you know, in the preseason and during the season, uh, went up in flames. Really? Uh, and, and we're gonna get that clip. Uh, for Can't you shortly. wait. Was that because? Can't of a wait. Question that Gary asked or something. I'm gonna guess yes. I think Jimmy's got a winner. <laughs> I'm gonna guess yes. But you know, here's this is this is the thing though. Um, I think 
This is one of those games where Joe. Self-esteem. I think. Oh God! I love that one. Wick was there tonight. Relocate the team. <laughs> Rick Wick was there. He, he was. He was. He was. This. I. I you know what? I, I, it's hard for me to get angry about this loss. I mean, I think that I felt they should, going into it. I felt that if they were going to be like the team that so many of us have built them up to be, they'd win it. And if they didn't, well, okay. Well, then they're bums. Yeah. I mean, but, but, it's, and you, you got to, uh, and this will be the last point I'll make on this. The, the, the fact we had to remind ourselves that basically the, the bulk of their schedule has been on the road. Uh, and to have the record that they have where, damn, you've had what, one, two games at home? Uh, this homestand is going to be interesting to see whether the struggles they've had, the road dynamic was a factor, or whether it was just simply that they've got some work to do and, and some things to figure out as a, as a group. FanDuel is the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. I'm, I guess I'm a little bit more frustrated than Sherrod is. Just whatever. I mean, that's fine. It's it's a few games in, so take it all in stride, I guess. But what's it look? I mean, Jimmy, what are you most frustrated about? Inconsistency. I thought on defense, they didn't try the way they they. I know that they're capable of. I thought the Sixers ran them up and down the court. So that that's Kicked their ass more, on the boards. That to me was an effort thing. Yeah, on the boards for one fast break. We know that the Sixers are a good fast break team. And so I just like, uh, I was frustrated that I didn't, I just didn't think the Celtics came with that. Listen, they need to know that there's a target on their back every game. Good teams, bad teams. There are no days off, no games off that they can take. See you, Sherrod. Thank you for listening. There are no games First off. First time caller. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. I just like that killer instinct. I mean, and Bobby texted this to us a couple days ago. He hated, the way Jason Tatum answered some question, I think, in the uh, post game after they lost. Yeah, he laughed a lot. He laughed something off, brushed it off as, you know, got to play better, got to be better, but, 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 but. And, you know, then they come out and they play like this. I, I commend them for hanging in there in the end of the fourth quarter there. They were down 10 and they, and they brought it back to one possession game. Kudos for that. But same story. Got a clean look at the end, missed the three. And then, you know, ultimately this time losing regulation. I thought that inbounds was interesting. It looked like White easily could have gotten it to Brown coming around that that turn and, and chose not to and ended up giving it to Porzingis, who had a clean look and missed well short. Um, I don't know what the play call was supposed to be there, who really was supposed to go to, but that's how it looked to me. I that, mean, you got a damn good look at the end there. So you had a great look. Oh, no I don't beat. complain about the play at all, but I just thought it was interesting that they didn't get that well, White didn't give it to Brown when Brown was he pretty shook much off Jalen right in there. the corner. Uh, That's what I mean. Yeah, sure. I thought that yeah. was interesting. Um, and Brown had just hit a three right before that, so um, whatever. I mean, a few things frustrate me, but yeah, that certainly is one of them. I mean, Brown and Tatum yeah. were cold throughout this one. Brown doesn't look. I'm gonna save that. I know that you probably have some thoughts. I, I was I was glad to see yeah. Porzingis. On, on one hand, I thought Porzingis offensively looked good. On defense, again, it's against Embiid, but we're starting to see, yeah, you know, physical limitations here a little bit on the, the reason, defensive end with Porzingis. You ever notice why I don't Down go hard on? Block. I don't go hard on Jalen after bad Jalen games, like all the time. It's because I, my opinion. My overarching opinion on Brown doesn't change with a good game or a bad game. I'm not playing this like, oh, did you see that half Xanus? I guess he stinks. Right, right. Nor am I like taking a victory lap when he has a dog shit game like this. I think he's got these flaws in his game that he hasn't been able to fix or get over. And when they rear their head, they're really freaking ugly, you know? But obviously, he's also capable of lighting the world on fire. That's just part of the Jalen Brown experience. It's just, when you're talking about somebody you're trying to take to another level and, you know, talking about him in a conversation of all NBA and among the best players, X, Y, and Z, I, I, you know, I've never really bought into it, 
um, for those reasons. HelloFresh makes it really, really, really easy to make sure that you're maintaining and eating real food uh, as opposed to just reaching into the cupboard and grabbing whatever you can on the go. Uh, and it's terrific. And again, if you don't have the time to shop and to do all of the prep work, HelloFresh is the way to go. Go to HelloFresh.com slash CLNS50. That's HelloFresh.com slash CLNS50. Use the code CLNS50. 50% off plus free wow. shipping. It's a really good deal. Once again, America's number one meal kit. We're going to listen. We're going to get Sherrod back in a second. We're going to listen to Joe Mazzula and Gary Washburn uh, saying, hi, saying hi to each other after the game. Here we go. Um, you, I was just finished reading a great article that you wrote in 2016 that the Celtics shot too many threes, and they shot 42, and that was seven years ago. And we only shot five more tonight, and they lost 121 to 114, and you blame the offense, but not the defense. So like, what's your fascination with too much threes? For the last seven years. Well, it's been seven years. 2016. It's 2023. Well, I just read it. It was a great article. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, I mean, but it was like, are the Celtics settling for too many threes? You said that seven years ago. You're ahead of the curve. I am ahead of my <laughs> time. Um, Dude, that was weird. Ten tense. I can't tell if he's joking or if he's serious. Oh, that that that's that. What do we call it? Tongue in cheek. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not, that was weird. I well, I wish call, I wish I knew what the question was. I literally want to call answer, Gary right now and just see what the hell that was. That can we get Gary on. Can we get Gary on the show? Sure, I get him on the show. Let's get the let's get the low down here. Let's get it right from Gary's mouth and what happened. I mean, that what was, was the, weird. Was I wonder what Gary was asking? I mean, was he saying did you, did you feel like you're relying too much on the three point and when it's not falling, you have situations like this? Perhaps I mean I don't know. Um, what did they what did they shoot from three tonight? It wasn't good. Yeah, thirty two percent. Um, but but here, but I, I just the, the whole concept. They took I mean, forty seven threes. Yeah, What's you that? write something seven years ago, and, and and we want to have a conversation about it after you just lost. Like, it's strange. Dude, I mean, that, yeah, that seven years ago is completely different. <laughs> also, the amount <laughs> you were the roster. coach seven years ago, forty two threes is like fifty five threes now. So I mean, right. not, not quite, but still, it's like it it goes up and up and up. It's but also, Stevens philosophy. Jack also, three. exactly. <laughs> Also, so, I mean, what are we doing here, man? Like, why is Joe doing that? Like, I, it just it just doesn't help him. It just doesn't. It feels help like him. it's almost like a, is it is it a deflection tactic to take the focus off of what we just saw? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was it's bizarre. Really, a weird one.